Google has officially launched their new line of products, including the Pixel 7, the 7 Pro, some new Pixel Buds, and of course, the new Google Pixel Watch. Some really exciting things surrounding the new Pixel phones specifically are the cost. They are incredibly cheap compared to other flagship devices. So when we look at the bare minimum price for the 7, that is coming in at $599. And then when we look at the 7 Pro, that's coming in at $899, which is a serious discount when you look at, say, Samsung Galaxy devices or the new Apple iPhone 14. The new devices are a pretty big step up from the previous Google 6 and 6a, including screen size. They jump from 6.3 to 6.7. And then when we look at the camera system for the 7, it's a dual rear camera system. And for the 7 Pro, there is three cameras back there making Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro some of the best cameras on the market according to them but you know every manufacturer says that their new phone is the best cell phone camera on the market so we'll really just have to wait and see. <laughs> there is a new processor for this round of phones the Titan Google Tensor G2. Titan I don't think is in there it's just Google Tensor G2 and they could not stop saying that in the production that was streamed live on October 6th. So that's what we have working for us in the new Pixel lineup. And when it comes to security, privacy, and authentication, they have a big lineup of things coming, including a built-in free VPN. You're also, of course, for security purposes, going to have the fingerprint scanner on screen and face ID. So a wealth of different options to make sure your information is protected and that only you are going to be able to get into it. There are going to be a ton of deals on the Pixel for trade-ins with different carriers or trade-ins with the manufacturer. I'm not going to go over those today. That will be a separate video coming out later. So if you want to hear those, be sure to subscribe. But now I'm going to toss you to my reactions while I was watching the release live and it was really early in the morning and I was feeling some sort of sassy way. So uh, have fun watching that and thanks for watching What's Loud TV. Today we are going over the new lineup of Pixel products with a heavy focus on the Pixel device and taking a look at the Google event. So without delay, let's jump right in. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I find these events incredibly cheesy. They are saying things in the lead up to showing us the Pixel, things like turn everyday problems into delightful technological experiences. No, just show me the new phone. I don't need me pulling out my calculator to figure out the tax on a product <laughs> to be a delightful technological experience. Just give me the freaking phone. Thank you. One thing I am really liking about uh, this new Pixel is that lots of these products are going to be full of recyclable materials, recycled materials, which I can really appreciate. Trying to cut down on our carbon footprint, trying to be a better member of society, all the things. We like to see big corporations doing their part to help the earth. A cool new function on the Pixel device is it can monitor the quality of your sleep by recording different noises and sounds you make, snoring, um, which is exactly what I need is another person to tell me that I need to get more sleep outside of my therapist. So that's fun for me. Here we go, we're taking a look at the color options, which is always something that the manufacturers love to tout, like Magnificent Magenta or the Purplest Pink. Like um, these colors happen to be nice and jungly, I would say, nature-y. We've got like a light green, greenish color, white and beige, so. Don't have to think too hard about this one. That was for the 7. Now for the 7 Pro, some colors we got are the milkiest black, shiny white, <laughs> and the gargoyliest gray. Ooh, a fun feature. With audio messages, instead of having to press play if you're in public, Google Pixel will now transcribe the audio messages so you can just open a little chat box. You can read what your friend sent you in an audio message, which I appreciate because I basically function through audio messages. So 
this is a cool win for me. <laughs> this is another really cool feature I like with the Pixel devices. You know when you call to make a doctor's appointment and it's like, press one if you're going to gynecology, press two if you're going to pediatrics. Instead of having to sit and wait through that list, you can look at your phone and a option will show up with them typed out already and you can just press it and it will take you to the right one, saving you not that much time, but a lot of annoyance, which we like, we like that. Now getting into the camera here a little bit, Pixel is really stoked and I'm excited to test this out that they now have one of the best cameras ever in smartphones. And they took some serious time to talk about how they have the most equitable camera when it comes to capturing skin tones, which is something that many people will appreciate, I am sure. Talking more about the camera, they are trying to make it a good experience for all users, including blind people. And there's a thing called guided frame where you can turn on the camera and the camera will let you know when your face is in the frame so you can take a picture. And they had a nice little story showing um, blind people using this feature. And I think that is really, really cool. And that'll help me when I have my contacts out and I'm trying to take a picture because your girl got bad eyesight. Okay, last camera feature I'm gonna talk about because the camera, yes, is very good, we get it. But they have a function called photo unblur where it will unblur a photo. Um, that's gonna be like half the photos in my iPhone because I cannot hold a steady shot for the life of me. And um, your girl might be switching to a pixel, thank you. And the best part about photo unblur is that you can use it on any photos ever, not just photos you've taken on that device. So any childhood photos that are blurry, you can unblur them. I think there is a really cool thing we can do here, especially for me with who I have close friends who have passed away, I can unblur their photos. Not that it totally makes a huge difference, but it could be kind of nice. So hmm, I'm into it. Pixel is now using something for their video cameras called 10-bit HDR. So videos will look even more realistic than ever before. And they made sure to say that they partnered with TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram so the quality would carry over. Because I remember when iPhone came out with the Dolby Vision, and when I would post from my iPhone to Instagram, it would be totally blown out, overexposed, very odd that it didn't transfer over to Instagram. Um, so the fact that they made sure to call that out makes me giggle. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistleout. Hope to see you here again. See you later.